Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more of Korean Jinjang Obaka Dainan walkthrough. So, anyway, in case you guys see a little bit there, I did revisiting the other of the level um, that we actually already complete all the collection there. Reason being, just you know, play off camera a little bit just to check if I'm missing any cameo. There is another one I'm missing. Yeah, kind of like the last one I kind of did earlier. It wasn't the only one, by the way. <laughs> kind of definitely say that, um, you know. I really, really should have, you know, like know the thing inside out before I'm actually gonna play this one, do I? <laughs> because honestly, I kind of have no idea about it either. I mean, again, kind of like did, um, what should I say again? Kind of like I did play the game, um, and you know, completing it, um, for the longest time now. So of course, my memory system maybe wasn't the best. So kind of have to rely on maybe, you know, <laughs> on the thing there. I mean, again, I think the, we only have two more cameo that we need to actually like spot in case you guys. Kind of know the you know cameo that actually appear on the credit se sequence that we actually like um we defeat the final boss there so that's gonna be like what are we gonna do so anyway the state that we actually missing is actually the first state of the second level that I actually did here you know like the state where we actually go to the cave there yeah that's the one so anyway said the camera character right because apparently you know I just kind of like <laughs> don't worry I kind of like will do something. Um, theme music there, sorry, I'm not the best on explaining after all. So anyway, let's get going. Not gonna lie, man, I kinda love the BGM there. Like, the BGM of each of the level is kinda like memorable in my opinion. Also, hi there, I'm Sad GM. You don't need to, you know, worry about you anymore. So, the cameo of the, on this level right here is actually on the beginning of the beginning area of the level there. So, when it's at the beginning there, um, you're gonna need to actually like wall jump there. I mean, I guess that maybe this cameo will actually only appear when, um, what should I say again? When you actually collect all the collectible there, because I remember that the, you know, some of the character, the cameo that they actually like, you know, they not appear when we actually like, you know, revisit the first time. So I'm really, really, you know, kind of like, <laughs> again, like, how does that actually even work? So sorry once again. Um, I kind of didn't really think it's true. I mean, again, there's kind of reason why this kind of happened in terms of you know I tend to miss out the cameo that I should have maybe spot. Um, maybe kind of like maybe even kind of like maybe some people see right actually like trying to like every single thing. Um, you know, there. So of course, why the heck am I not surprised that I'm gonna miss things up there? <laughs> Don't mind me. So anyway, what's about to do here is remember to collect there is a trail of coin there. You're gonna need to actually like glide all the way there. And hello there. So yeah, this is actually the cameo of this um you know level there. I kinda have something to talk about him too, but we're definitely gonna need to talk about him and see what's going on there. So let's go. So this guy right here is is um you know his name is John Rowe. And yeah, I mean again, find out that in the Japanese text there is actually called John Rowe Song, and but we actually like his name is John Rowe. I mean, he actually like one of the characters that I remember is one of the um in Korean Xinjiang that um they said all that the Noharos I have to live in kind of like the apartment because apparently they actually blew up their own house. So I kind of like the arc there, and you know this character also tend to be like um you know introduced during that arc, and even though kind of like the Noharos actually go back to living kind of like the normal house now. I mean again, I guess this character also kind of like been kind of like been you know memorable somehow that they still keep um reappearing despite you know kind of like the apartment all kind of done so yeah so anyway um John Rowe is actually like I would say kind of like the university um kind of like student that actually living into the apartment in case I know kind of like he also like I, I know that in the um kind of like the series that he actually like live in the apartment with um there's also kinda of like another apartment folk that they actually like um reside with you know with the Nohara. I mean like where the Nohara actually like reside during one of the arc. But apparently he kinda of get the most screen time, so apparently he making a cameo there, which is I'm not gonna lie, man, sometimes I even forget that he exists sometime though. <laughs> I know. No, I'm not gonna yonder Sander there. He's he's cool in some way, okay? <laughs> And I mean, not all I mean, I kind of forgot that his voice kind of like this, so yeah, kind of say something there, okay? <laughs> Alright, so here we are, we're getting, um, once again, the, um, Kalebo there. I mean, again, when we ask this about cameo, they kind of like, um, you know, get something. I'm kind of wondering why Yondro even there. Is this state actually his um, hometown though? Because I really not really sure the connection there. I mean, again, I know that I'm kind of big Korean in Sam, but sometimes I hate to admit that I sometimes doesn't really know every single thing there. I mean, again, I know that I didn't really kind of like. I would say, yeah, I hate to admit, but I'm kind of like didn't really know much of Yondro that much. So yeah, I mean, let's talk to him again. 
I know that it's gonna have some new dialogue, but we're gonna keep the new dialogue for once, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, he's got a university, um, like, student, and I don't know, man, cause, like, I know the in Korean Xinjiang, some of the male characters tend to be, like, um, we say walk or some way. I know, like, Shinosuke and Hiroshi kind of quite have been a lot attractive with some of the, like, good-looking women. I mean, don't know, like, um, you know, like, one of the characters there, I mean, again, like, most of the characters in Xinjiang tend to love, um, would say, like, having an attract with the opposite gender, by the way, like, you know, either, like, good-looking boys, or, you know, like, I mean, good-looking man, not sorry, boy, but good-looking man, or boy, because, kind of, like, um, you know, in terms, kind of, like, I guess the sub kind of did that, so, yeah, I swear that kind of work. <laughs> or, like, you know, sexy-looking girl, or woman, all the kind of jazz, so, yeah. I mean, again, I'm... I'm trying to actually show you guys the voice acting there, in case you're wondering, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, I know that um, most of the, like, you know, the character wasn't Shinosuke actually, like, gonna have, like, unique, I mean, like, I would say, like, the normal dialogue with Shinosuke, I believe, you know, the main character, and I guess that he uh, kind of have a most more, maybe, genre after, like, or, you know, most of the cameo there, so of course he can have unique dialogue, so I kind of need to show that one, too. Alright, let's see. And yeah, I kinda see that um they kinda like, you know, they really kinda like closing um the Noha say in, in the apartment arc, so that's kinda like um the thing there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, sometimes you know skate actually like um you know, tend to make fun with most of the character there. I know that in kinda like, you know, the um, during, I would say now, maybe, I'm not sure this kind of like a spoiler, in case you didn't even know here in Xinjiang, um, how that one worked, but during the apartment arc, I know that the Noharas and Yongro, um, rooms are actually like reside next to each other, and I kind of know there's kind of like the moment where Shinosuke accidentally, um, created a hole between those rooms there, which is kind of hilarious in some way, and I guess kind of like in some way, there's an arc that Yongro trying to, you know, um, get to university and Denhara kind of, you know, helping, um, him, so, that's kind of like, you know, the art that kind of, we say Yonro kind of like, get to know with Shinosuke there, so, yeah, just a little something something, we'll be share that one there, don't mind me there, okay? <laughs> I mean, again, just, um, seeing the line there once again. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean again, I, I know that kind of like, that's definitely, I, I mean again, they're referring about, um, the horror actually like, say in apartment with, um, kind of like, in the same comment with Yonro, and I know kind of like, you know, Bukinoshi and Misai really, really, I would say kind of like, they kind of help Yonro trying to, um, get into university in case you're wondering, so, yeah, just something something. <laughs> Not sure what, um, they actually talk about, but hey. <laughs> I get that all his goal there, you can't deny it. <laughs> Speech that I believe. <laughs> I know man, once again. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's kinda like um the, the cameo there. I guess that we'll probably I'm gonna cut right here guys and we're gonna go right back to where we're gonna go and rip see some say there. Now I'm sure we're gonna see some more cameos sometime soon, but um yeah gonna be pretty fun there, you know? <laughs> Why not you do some booty booty dance so before we actually gonna cut a little bit there, Shinosuke? There it is. <laughs> okay, so let's cut right here guys and I'll see you guys in just a second in there, buddy. Alright then. Okay guys, we're back and you know, just playing up a little bit on high jazz. I kinda did check a little bit further up the level a little bit if I miss anything. Good thing I didn't miss anything. So yeah, long story short, you can't deny it. So anyway, we're actually gonna start playing this state there. Okay, we have one collectible left there. I guess the, I'm not entirely sure the cameo is gonna be there, but we're gonna need to like have to play two time in a row because we need to show a statue, you know, the golden statue of the level. I mean again, that's kinda all I row after all. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, once again, don't ask why I actually like some Masao from that one, but um, yeah. I was like, Kenshin have a lot of few arc there, you know. Even though I kind of hate to say that, um, you know, the other kind of know that kind of mentioned there, like you know, more unique in some way is actually like the apartment arc where I kind of mentioned earlier because we actually see the cameo of kind of you know, kind of like get main on this arc too, which is Yonro. I mean, again, I kind of like didn't remember like um, Kenshin kind of used to have like a little bit of like the mini arc. 
that kind of like you know have some character that actually like um introduce and you know without done the character just kind of you know dim to get oh I'm this may be a trap I sort of got like um sorry I hate to say I sort of interrupt a little bit but this is a trap when I actually like you know straight up kind of like you know when I see the statue there uh sometimes I just ignore the rest of the state that maybe kind of like a trap that we're probably gonna see the um once again the cameo on the save when we collect all the fable there is I don't know how the game design actually works so yeah don't mind me I mean again kind of I know the country Jung indeed have like something kind of like you know they arc a little bit which is um yeah really fun and all but in some way I kind of you know I kind of like you know usually like the character only introduce you in some certain arc they kind of like after the arc done they tend to not really appear that anymore but I kind of like that sometime that they still introducing like you know despite the arc done and you know I guess that maybe sometime it really um the character popular enough that they actually like still introduce the character there like Tae Musai for example like you know one of the cameo that appear on the few um part I play in kind of like I would say the manga I read Musai kind of like appear on um you know kind of like Hawk and she actually in during the arc but when actually like, her arc done she actually like didn't exactly appear at all but I kind of would say now consider Musai actually really popular in the anime they actually like still kind of like, make her still stick around to make sure like um yeah kind of, like we still kind of like, know what she had kind of been doing despite um you know her, her um kind of, like, her arc around her actually done which is actually like um yeah that's um, once again, kind of like make sure like um, we can actually like make sure the story still keep going. But I still kind of like, you know have Musai coming back. Um, you know if we actually did read the manga and maybe after like her arc done, we didn't really see Musai at, at all. But the anime that even though like her arc done, we still actually seeing her. Kind of say that Musai is kind of really popular character. You know popular side character of the anime. So they actually like still keep um here around, which is kind of like really fun. I mean there's some sort of the multiple of the side character that um there's some sort of arc that are um kind of warp around them. And if actually like they um you know popular enough, they actually like straight up um still got the arc um you know they still make an appearance by the arc kind of done. So that's actually another thing. I mean Yonro, I'm not entirely sure how much how popular Yonro is um you know, but I know that after like the apartment arc um done, Yonro still actually um kind of still having the roll around. The other character that actually appeared on the apartment um you know the apartment arc, they doesn't really have got much screen time that Yonro roll over in case you're kind of wondering. So. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering um, a, a little bit that, um, like, you know, sometimes the character is actually popular enough, they actually straight up um, still going to, you know, what should I say again? They still kind of got more arc, um, you know, introducing. I mean, again, kind of not saying the arc, but kind of they still appear there. I mean, again, as I mentioned that um, Kenshin used to kind of have, like, the arc, um, kind of like, during, you know, kind of like, the old episode. But new episode, kind of like, I don't remember they used to even kind of have the arc around there. Because, um, yeah, they have some reason about this, but, um, yeah, not, not entirely sure, but... I mean, just kind of like say that, um, you know, show the the detail a little bit, a little bit wouldn't hurt, right? I know. Oh, do we actually like shake this shot before? My shake the one a little bit there, guys. Okay. I mean, again, Kenshin Jung um have a lot of upside character that is so memorable. So kind of like another reason that um, despite like I know that kind of some side character kind of have their own arc. I mean, despite like the arc done, they still kind of even appear um coming. So that's like really fun. And you know what? Let's actually like um burn all the coin on the live so bit. Because why not? <laughs> I just would like to waste um coin after all. Because apparently um you know, <laughs> I know man. Just um don't ask there. Okay. I mean again, I'm not entirely sure that um the all because I know that um you know one of the apartment crew um you know how would say the apartment crew there. I mean they kind of like have like their own arc. Like I know that the apartment. Um, all character. There's a lot of character like there. Like I would say, the, the during the apartment, um, you know, the same that um, like the no horrors in um, you know, like say in the apartment. There's kind of like a lot of um, you know, kind of have their own mini arc going on. Like I know that's Young Rose kind of one of them. We also kind of have like the um, the owner of the apartment. We also have like the um, the actress that actually trying to you know, um, kind of like trying to be an actress there. There's also an arc. Also, there's um, you know, one of the two police um duo that they actually have the arc on that before um, you know, they wrapping up the apartment arc. So yeah, again, I kind of like you know know that the um the apartment crew kind of have like um maybe the fans during um the time they actually there. So I mean, despite the arc done, they actually like, set up to make um the appearance. Though I mean, again, I know a fun fact about the apartment and consider I kind of mentioned about Musai in this video. Musai actually, you know. 
in the original manga one, um, when her arc done, she kind of like you know didn't exactly she kind of like you know didn't really have the you know kind of appear there. But after like um you know in the anime that her arc done, they actually like you know kind of like straight up making Musai actually like become one of the resident of um the apartment crew. I mean, again, kind of like I know that, you know, after like Nohara moving out, the room where Nohara actually reside on the apartment is gonna be like vacant. So I like the idea that, um, they kind of like the, you know, the anime version, they actually like have Musai actually be, you know, reside with the apartment crew after, you know, her arc done. So that's kind of like another good, um, you know, some fun move that kind of trying to make like, Having like some of the side characters still um relevant despite um her arc, their kind of, like their arc done, which is kind of like really fun because I know that how popular Musai was, so kind of like really say something that um she's definitely still um you know kind of like hang around despite um her arc kind of done. So that's kind of like um another fun, another fun fact. I'm sure show you guys a little bit because I know like there's a lot of Korean character in um this anime, and I kind of like, there's a lot of fan that I like. I mean again kind of like you know even though like some of them that like they're all kind of done. Um, they still kind of got the spotlight around, despite, um, what you're saying, like, you know, the... Uh, maybe not exactly like a main role, but at least like, you know, see that, um, each character still have the potential to, you know, make the appearance, you know? Just a little fun fact. You know, some notch I'd love to share that to you guys, and <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, you know, and I might as well call the mom a little bit. I mean, again, I know, um, you know, to show that bow line. Consider that, um, yeah, I showed it been before, but hey, let's show it again. Why, why not, right? <laughs> I mean, again, kind of pointless um, use of the store there, but um, yeah, why not? I, I would love to use that after all. Is that the end of the state already? Because I kind of see there. Oh, yeah, I think that's definitely the end of the state. I mean, again, I'm not kind of sure how long it would say this, so I'm kind of, you know, trying to. Once again, like, trying to do some research a little bit. Wouldn't mind me there, okay? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's the end for sure. I mean, again, I think I might gonna have to go back to, you know, um, once again, we have to go back to the state just to, uh, maybe have to check a little bit. Do we actually see some of the cameo around there? I mean, I have to go back to, like, um, by the state there. So, once again, gonna be, like, quite the role there. I know next day, the best one playing in this level, we didn't even get any clip at all. So, gonna have a lot of video visiting on next video. I mean, just, um, saying there. <laughs> I mean, again, just, um, you know, do some fun stuff after all there. Okay, let's actually go back to this one. Um, you know, for both showing the statue and then, you know, check if are there any, um, missing cameo all around the state, because apparently, um, I had to go back to some of this, um, state again, maybe, like, after I record this video, so I could actually check, um, the area out. I mean, again, just, um, kind of, like, share out, kind of, like, my knowledge of Korean Chinchang a little bit, and, okay, not remember what excited it is, but, yeah, that's not looking good, right? Oh yeah, I mean, I know that this thing can have a lot, a lot of spike there, so apparently they, they can add the, you know, the blocks to you, you know, for easy mode there, definitely kind of see that one coming. I kind of see, like, to see the Chisa statue, like, next to that statue there, talk about, that's a niche touch there, think about it, right? <laughs> I know, just, um, saying there. I mean, again, just, um, kind of try something out, um, oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, I think I might shake around the state, I mean, sign out again, that's what I'm gonna do, so yeah. I mean, I'm just um, going to, need to see if I'm going to need to, you know, getting the thing right. All right. So, yeah. I think, I mean, again, we checked this one before. There's kind of maybe the secret treasure around there. And once again, it's kind of like, um, grab it easily. So, once again, I kind of forgot that again. <laughs> Legitimately me. Like, why am I not surprised at all? <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. I mean, again, I kind of like, you know, again, kind of like would say the Korean Shinjung kind of like have like, um, the main character be Nohoros and, you know, the the squad of the kids there, you know, um, what we actually play with the, um, the pedal pe pe character there. And the rest of them kind of like, maybe with the side character, like, you know, including with the t-shirt trio and the moms. And when it's like still more, I would kind of like, there's a lot of character in Korean Shinjung and again, kind of recommend to check it out because, um, again, all the characters there are memorable. Even though I would say now there could be some that maybe you're not gonna be your cow tea, and that could be like the final cameo that I believe in the game that we still need to, to spot on. Maybe we'll see them in the next video or maybe this video if we actually like um maybe lucky enough. Because I don't remember where exactly the cameo is, so I kinda can't really be barely sure. But don't worry, I'm definitely gonna reset some state if I really really miss um someone there. Because again, gonna we're gonna see them a lot. So anyway, I believe. Um, oh wow! I never thought that we actually gonna. Oh yeah! In case you guys see, um, we actually gonna save from um getting not getting hit by the spy, but not necessarily save from getting um once again getting hit by the enemy or kind of like run out of the air though. <laughs> 
I just played around a little bit. Don't mind me. I mean, I'm like, like when you when you play underwater, you should play Bojang in um from the beginning. I mean, more on after all, you can deny it. I mean, again, I'm not quite sure that I you know how I clear all the cable and then you know we're getting um you know straight up more. I would say like the easy mode from there. I know in the easy mode they actually like get this one blocked right away, so we need to worry about that um from the beginning. But for some reason that um <laughs> the hard mode that we actually like click all the credible, we actually got the, the the block helping. Don't know why, but okay, I'll take it a little bit there. Who know? I mean, just gonna check around there. Don't mind me. Oh wow, this area definitely spell you make it damage easily though. <laughs> Kinda of definitely say it. I mean, yeah, just um team chick there. I know like you know, once again, I could actually talk more of Crunchy Jung, but again, I'm not excited based on commentating. So I mean again, we're gonna maybe talk about I may need to repair. Like I'm not even remember the script even gonna be necessary though, but um yeah, just a little something something. Okay, um let's see are there any cameo? Oh god, there they are. So I think we actually completed all the camo in, in the game already. Oh my god, I never thought that we actually gonna do this video there. So yeah, I think that's probably the last camo in the game. And oh boy, I would say now my mood actually turned um, 180 immediately when I see those two. So those two right here, I mean again, kind of have a lot of, we we'll say a lot of pot um, potential character trope of every maybe single of the game or anime gonna have, like same cl color, clothes, really hard. And they kind of look like, you know, almost similar together. Me, Michi, and Yoshirin. Probably one of the most hated characters in the series. I mean, again, we're gonna talk a lot more um, for sure because consider, I'm not, maybe I'm gonna talk about maybe next video though, but my god. You have no idea how much of the fan base hate those two. Those two are kind of, I would say, you know, maybe they kind of look similar to Lovey Dovey um, couple, but let's actually see what's, um, what's their, you know, talk about that a little bit. So yeah, the male, kind of like the guy here is named Yoshirin. And the girl he's actually named Michi. I mean, I don't remember that it's actually like somewhere going on that they actually appear there or not. But um, yeah, apparently you need to get, okay, we need to get them first. Don't know why, but okay. Definitely like, you see the voice acting, definitely that spell Lobby Dobby couple um, from the mice there. You can't deny it. Yep, with the ne and they say in the same time. 1% Lobby Dobby um, casual trope, um, you know, without a doubt. <laughs> I mean, funny enough, kind of like, you know, you definitely see no, um, the car what character they are. I still got like, I would say the Yoshirin, the guy one can be a bit of a whim if you kind of see the voice acting there. <laughs> oh boy, some lovely dovey couple just like saying them, um, you know, repeat for each other like uh, multiple times, does it? Well, at least in this game, they know how much the fan base may be hating um, those two, so they're actually like cutting that, say, Michi, Yoshirin, Michi, Yoshirin, um, to just only two times. At least they know. At least the game know how much the fan base hate those two. So anyway, before we're gonna talk to you, maybe both of them a little bit, I'm gonna tell you guys um, maybe the reason why they don't, um, the fan base hate those two lobby dobbies a lot. Like, legitimately hate, um, like hate, hate. So let's try to combine two trope character, um, you know, with kind of like the lovey dovey character, I mean, kind of like lovey dovey couple trope, and the other trope, which happened to be neighborhood from hell trope. Yeah, I would say now those two right here is the epitome of com combination of lovey dovey couple with like neighbor from hell, um, character like that. Like I would say now those two kind of like one of them, um, kind of like they just straight up don't really kind of like they only care about the world about themselves and. They don't really care about like someone else. Like you know, when some some trouble, they kind of like you know damage it. And another kind of like, you know, another another kind of like you know running gag of the um you know kind of like in the in current Xinjiang that make the fan base the spy those two. It's actually like the you know, Harak. Sometimes they can have the meal like sukiyaki. You know, with a lot of vegetable and meat. 
And those who tend to like the running gag of the um Kun Chi Jung that we don't know how Ross actually getting the um again kind of like yeah kind of like having like Sukiyaki night and you know kind of like all the kind of jazz and then those who kind of like you just um you know tend to show up and they straight up eat all the meat of kind of like you know of the Sukiyaki and sometimes in you know sometimes in the Japanese um kind of like culture that um you know is really really rude and inappropriate if you actually like, eat all the meat there like those who kind of like, straight up eat all the meat and you know, I know that you guys kind of know Kenshin Jang like Japanese anime, right? And again, when you see that those kind of making that kind of shitty move, like you kind of definitely know that the fan base gonna despise them. Again, kind of like those who are kind of like mainly, you know, kind of like the PNB of Neighbor from Hell with kind of like the, this guy as a little bit character. And sometimes that those two, even though they love it, though, we there's kind of some episode that those two kind of like have some argument, and they actually swear up gonna go to the Nohara. And fun fact though, that the reason I kind of mentioned earlier, kind of like there are the people of neighborhood from hell, neighborhood from hell, not neighborhood from hell, sorry. The the people of neighborhood from hell because apparently, um, those two and the Nohara are actually live, um next to each other. Not during the apartment arc, as I mentioned earlier, but the kind of like, um, you know, the actual house that Nohara actually live. Like, those who are legitimately, like, neighbors and some way, like, um, you know, have a lot of moments that making the fan base despise those two. I mean, we we'll want to talk more, maybe kind of like bickering about those two more, but I don't want to make the video long. So, let's show the dialogue of both of them before we're actually going to end the video there, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny that after like we'll talk with one dialogue and they just, they just straight up make a new dialogue from there too, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you definitely see that, um, you know they kind of like have Lobby Delvey, but sometimes they can be like that, you know, have some thing that they, um, conflict, um, you know, with each other somehow. Great. Oh boy, not this again. Thank you, the game. Straight up, no, um, you know. I mean, I know that kind of like they straight up do that in public too. Like, you know, this um level there, actually, they consider at all of the kind of the public. Um, area. So, not all I mean, kind of like, there's a lot of people gonna roll in their own eye when they got a screen time. I mean, even Yonro, not necessarily get that much, kind of like, hated though. So I think Yonro kind of a bit forgettable one, but I mean, he's still got a roll though. But those who will be straight up, kind of like, you know, hands out one of, one of like, the most hated characters in, in the, um, in Kuen Shinjang, which is, um, say something. But anyway. I mean, again, she doesn't say, oh, we can have unique dialogue with um, kind of like, up every cameo in the game, so can you show that one to you guys there? <laughs> but similarly, I guess that she knows sometimes kind of like really close with those two, apparently. It's just how Miss Hiroshi and Misai that they don't like, um, you know, those lobby dobby in case you're wondering. Even sometimes she knows case sometimes maybe shows some dislike um, when they actually like um, crashing their um, Sukiyaki time, but kind of like beside that, um, she's kind of okay with those two. I mean, especially Hiroshi, like, Hiroshi despise, um, those two, like, I, I definitely watched, um, the anime, and if you actually, like, would love to wonder why, um, kind of, like, this, those two are being hate, really hated by the fan base, just maybe watching one, one of the episodes in current you know, that those two maybe, um, kind of, like, appear, and you kind of understand why. I, I kind of like don't want to, um, explain every single thing there, okay? <laughs> if she knows game, no, they're a little bit dubby, right? You <laughs> should just like, yeah, I'm out here. <laughs> yeah, we know. And you know what? That's so fun. See, let's actually call Hero and see what's going on there. Kind of wondering that a little bit there.
<laughs> Not exactly helping the Hiroshi, but yeah, that's it for LL there. Because I know that in the anime, Hiroshi the spider too, but yeah, that's um, show that one to you guys. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna end the video there. Um, yeah, next time I'm gonna go for the um final say that we still need missing the credible. And if we actually got enough time, we can actually do the mid game right away, or maybe have to keep that for next time. Just I'm trying to saving the um the length of the video a little bit, so we'll find out that's eventually there. Okay? Yeah, I know. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy and, um again for another video um of Obaga Dying Den. <laughs> And we're gonna, we almost gonna maybe complete all the post game there. We just, I'm really surprised by the, the process there. Not gonna lie. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I guess I should end the video there. <laughs> Sorry. See you guys next time, there, buddy. All right then.